Hey, what's up, YouTube? Here we are again. I am making another Curse of Aeros um, tips video. Uh, if you don't know what this game is or what's going on, go check out the first video um, that I made about this game. I'll give you a little bit of background. So this is, a, like I said, this is part two, our second video, uh, just some more tips. Um, this is going to be five tips in this video. So, first one we're starting off with is tasks. So, the last video I went over the task board. Um, in this one, I want to talk about the fact that you can actually skip tasks. So, see on the bottom right of this task board, you have skip tasks. So, you pay a small fee and then you skip the task. So, what I like to do is when you get farther along obviously there's more selection of mobs that, that, that they'll give you tasks for for you to kill so what I like to do is or if I just don't like the rewards if it seems pretty low for the amount of mobs I have to kill I'll just skip the task and I try to like stack them up so there's a couple tasks for that specific mob so I just go kill you know and knock out like three tasks on that one mob so that's my first tip. Um, the second tip is um, to actually use a controller to play this game. So whether it's a Bluetooth, just like you know, generic one, or if you, I think you can actually get away with using uh, Xbox or PlayStation. Um, controllers and it is confirmed from a moderator I, I will show you the screenshot I'll, f I'll show it up on the screen um, but it's confirmed by a moderator that it is safe to use a um, when you use a Bluetooth controller you have to use a third party software to set up the controller to do on screen controls so uh, it, I'll show you right here that it's confirmed by a mod that it's safe to do as long as one button press on the controller only does one action in the game so like you can't have one button on the controller attack and use a potion this or like a, a potion at the same time you can't have it attack and use a potion at the same time with one button press but if it's on two separate buttons then that's that's completely fine then so that's my second tip, is to you actually use a controller on this game. It makes it a lot easier to just move around. Obviously, it's a little bit more inconvenient to carry around a controller and play this game. But if you're at home or whatever, it, it makes it a lot easier to play this game and use a controller. Um, and that moves me on to my third tip, which is I talked about in the last video like very vaguely so this room up here is the ore boxing room and the bars boxing room um, so if you're gonna sell ore to other players box it you have to box it or you're only gonna be able to sell like you know 35 at a time 36 at a time so this gives you the option it doesn't cost anything uh, the only thing it costs you is time so just go, just box the ores and then you can sell them. And then alternatively, if you have a boxed ore, um, or if you buy boxed ore from a player, all you do is um, you go into your inventory and you click on the boxed ore and it'll ask you if you want to deposit your bank and you just click yes. Um, fourth tip is check item prices so I've noticed this more um, and that's people trying to jack prices on items on like like stuff that they're trying to sell for you know two three times the normal price of stuff and it's not real nice of them but it's to be expected because it's a multi-player online game 
and there were issues with that in RuneScape, and I'm sure in many other games where people jack up prices on items, just try to make money off of it. Um, so check prices. Um, if it's something you're not sure of, check out the the Curse of Aros Discord. Check it out. Look at it. Um, you can search within Discord, within the Marketplace channel, and you can look up the item and it'll I mean you'll see like a bunch of people posting that they're selling it or what the price is for it um or you know ask in the discord as well uh but yeah check on prices if it sounds like a lot and it's something you're not sure of just check on it and make sure cuz like you could be trying like could be trying to rip people off I mean I've seen it Unfortunately. Um, but yeah. So just check that out. Make sure you're not trying to get ripped off. Um, and then finally. Uh, my last tip. Tip 5 is. And this is not really necessarily a specific tip. But it's just. There's a lot of. There's some information I have on pets. And. It wasn't enough to really make into a video, so I just figured I would like to make into its own separate video, so I just figured I'd put it at the end of this video. So, how do you get pets? Super, like, the, like literally the, um, probably the top question I see every time I'm playing on here is people asking, how do you get pets? How do you get pets? How do you get pets? Oops. Um, so how you get pets, it's super simple. It's exactly what I'm doing. Stabbing mobs. You just go find a mob that you're like, oh, that one's cool looking. I want a pet of that. And stab it a bunch over and over and over. No, but there's a, there's a random chance with all the rest of the loot that, uh, you will get a pet, um, item out of the mob that you're attacking and like I said it's a random chance so you, it, it, it may take you 5,000 mobs it may take you five like I don't think it'll ever take 5,000 but you get the you get the hang out like you get the idea like it's a random chance um, of that being dropped so that's all there is all you have to do is go kill mobs and you'll eventually get the the sometimes it's a pet egg sometimes it's a item that you have to combine together or um you know sometimes it's a item you just have to have like 10 of the the item that it drops and then you combine it together and then you get the pet yeah it's it varies but it, ever, as far as I know, everything has the ability to drop a pet. Um, so just pick out a mob and stab it a bunch. And then you'll get the egg for it. Like the bats, they drop an egg. Like there's an egg right here that I'll pick up here in a second and show you. Um, that's somebody else's egg that they left behind, but I'll take it. Okay, see, so that black egg there that I just opened or that I just got is uh oh, I just realized my inventory is actually bugged. One second. Okay, like I said, here we are. Now that my inventory is done being bugged out. Um. And see, look, open your box, and I'm opening my box. I'm doing literally what I tell you all to do so so see this is a bad egg right here small eggs a small egg from which a bat could hatch could it will so this is like I said it may not always be an egg sometimes it's an item sometimes you have to combine them and then you'll get the pet but this one's just a hatch oh yeah I forgot you need gold for that well whatever we'll just kill some more bats anyways so um also, another 
um, bit of information in relation to pets. You cannot trade the pet items. You can't trade pets, you can't trade the items that you combine to make them at all. They're bound to the account. They're bound to your account, you cannot trade them. What can you do? Not trade them. Um, what can you do though, is drop them and pick them up on a different account. They just, they haven't, they haven't blocked that from happening. Um, I don't know if they will. I would think they will, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, so as of right now, that's the only way you could maybe trade them is by like dropping them, picking them up on a different account. But even then, that's a lot of hassle and super not worth it. Um, also, another tip with pets is they are not specific or they're not like one pet's not any better than another pet they're all the same stats completely same stats dependent on level so there it's all just cosmetic so a slime pet is going to do just as much a level three slime pet is going to do just as much devil damage as a level three umbra pet like they all do the same amount of damage and that is also confirmed i will show you right now it is confirmed that that is accurate and I'm not just pulling that out of my you know what thin air um, that's actually confirmed by um, a moderator so it's good to know I wasn't sure of that um, until I saw that um, but I'm glad that we have that information now and that's why I'm passing it on to you guys. But uh, yeah, that's my, that's the video, guys. That's it. We did a good job. We made it. Pimp, pimping. We big pimping. Um, I hope these tips helped you guys out. Uh, I hope you learned something. Uh, and I hope you enjoy your time in Curse of Aeros. It's a super fun game. And it's just a lot, a lot of fun. Very enjoyable. I still don't have enough for this, do I? No. But, yeah. Hope you guys have fun. I hope you all have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, a wonderful month, a wonderful year, a wonderful life. Um, love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. I'm just going to keep killing slimes. <laughs>